Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Star Sector, and you may ask yourself, why am I still near the Cryo Sleeper? And the answer for that is that although I do have to go all the way across the world here, I did look at some of the exploration notes that I had here, and it looks like there's some good stuff available over at this blue giant. So I'm actually going to pop over here real quick. I mean, I'm already on the western side of the system. I'm not going to bother with like going all the way up here. It looks like that research station is permanent. It's going to be there. Also, Betis, sorry I haven't been to. There may be a reason for that. Is it because there's warning beacons? No, it may just be an unremarkable system. But there's also a neutron star system that I haven't visited here. There's actually two neutron star systems. Three neutron star systems. And those can have some good goodies inside them. So we may pop into those, depending on how we feel, before we go back home to do some stuff with the colony and then dive into some more story stuff to kind of... its We're not at the end of the story missions by any stretch of the imagination. We're just kind of working towards the crescendo of it. So look at that monthly income. Wow. Commerce. Definitely making a difference here. I've got so crazy I couldn't actually remember what it's called. Now if I turn off the free port here, we lose a lot of that money. Um, so stability. We need to figure out some other ways. Well, probably first off, if we got rid of the ludic path, that would help a little bit. There are some other ways that we can help with stability here. I'll have to figure that out in just a little bit. But for now, we're going to go up here. And we have a lot of fuel. We have a lot of... Uh, supplies we're doing some serious repairs right now but that won't take too much longer so yeah i think we're pretty well kitted out to at least do some stuff on the return flight home so that way i don't have to worry about it later so if we pop down over here we should be able to go back up here so orbital station is complete at my cryovolcanic world hopefully that means good things okay so what kind of star is next to you i think that's a uh, Okay, so there's that and a neutron star. Wow, so how many neutron stars can we pack into one episode? Four? I don't know if we can get all the way to four. We may do the fourth one when we go up here, but we might be able to get three in. We'll see. Um, I have a bad habit of getting blasted by neutron stars though, so that's, that's gonna at least hopefully make for some fun. So let's see here, exploration style. We have a domain era probe that's some distance away from the center of a blue giant, and it was last seen orbiting a barren world. That doesn't always narrow it down, but we're going to pop over here on the left hand side and see what we can get started with. Okay, so we already have some goodies over here, barren volcanic world, and uh, oh look, an expedition. I was just wondering before where all the expeditions went. Are we still hostile with them? Did, the, did that thing figure this out? Nope, they're just still coming for us. So they're coming for Hantu Raya. Why would they be coming for Hantu Raya? Maybe because they think it's vulnerable? It has pretty low defenses. Whoops. Um, we, can, we have the money to upgrade to heavy batteries. Let's do that. And uh, Orbital Station. We don't have the money to upgrade um, the other ones. So let's see real quick. Just, like I said, this doesn't concern me. It just means that I do have a clock for when I get home. Um, I could try to avert it. Uh, the expedition space forces are outmatched. The ground forces are evenly matched. It's likely to be defeated in orbit. So, they're trying their best. They're just not doing a very good job of it. So there's a probe and a survey ship. And another probe. Well, that's an exciting start. And we got an ultra-rich ore deposits location. Not the most exciting thing in the world. And we've definitely got to watch our cargo here. So probe, same thing with the salvage. I mean, at this point, it's pretty much just supplies for us. And we got another probe over here. Automated defenses, absolutely. Let's uh, do this the easy way. So hey, look, you all can smile at the efficiency now of sending two gigantic ships versus a bunch of tiny, tiny things. Where literally the Paladin Point Defense System and Attack on Lance can take these things out. So, Oh wow, I actually swung and missed with one thing. So Attack on Lance is just 
We're actually having debris rain down on us like meteors. You can just kind of guess. I guess I'll hit somebody with these lasers. All right. I like how each laser will make its own independent thing. That's pretty nice, but I gotta watch my aim over here. There we go. So just prepare your explosions for even more explosions. Okay, those tachyon lances should take that out. I love a comment that I got recently from one of my older videos. It says that I suck at this game because I just uh, almost kill things and then turn away from them before they die. It's like, yeah, you know what? I could I could have told you I'm terrible at this game. But there we go. Attack Lance. Hit from behind. There's an easy victory. No ship recovery. Even more Gamma Cores, which is good. And the salvage is all right. All right. So we'll just take that. Do a little cursory ping. Looks like a lot of stuff is kind of hanging out over by the volcanic world. So it's nice and everything's kind of clustered together. And um, did we actually find, because it said exploration, all these things keep moving. Um, found ultra rich ore, there is a probe that we apparently have not found yet. But we did find, interestingly, we did find the ship. So that's fun ship didn't lead us to a lot but there's a derelict ship and a uh, another probe derelict ship may have something on it doesn't look like it all right probe time once again nothing nothing exciting really on the probe today other than just things that I need to ditch out into hyperspace or regular space I just left a bunch of heavy machinery on exit but it's fine one more burst before we get out of here. All right. So we're going to fit uh, some neutron stars. And then I still am kind of confident that my uh, my defenses will be able to hold off those expeditions. And that's some advice I've given in the comments before. But it's worth repeating is that sometimes the best thing you can do to sort of defend all these expeditions that keep knocking on your door is just building up your home fleet, your home base. And that way you can just keep exploring and do the things you want to do and you don't have to constantly be tethered to your house. I'm really glad I went this way. So there's a probe. They sent a bunch of probes to this blue giant. They must have had high hopes. And those high hopes did not pan out. All right. So back over here, one more probe. This is this is all just supplies. Things that are uh, going to work out really well. Automated defenses. We're going to do this literally the same way here again. So a little bit of rinse and repeat. I hope that's not a problem. Just got to make sure that um, stuff isn't going too crazy. Wow. I don't want to know what I just what I just read on my phone I, it's kind of bad when it's like did you just get hacked not me but like whoever sent the message I'm not even gonna repeat it but it's just like uh, do I do I know people maybe I do maybe I don't it's one of the fun things of being like what am I doing with my life right now apparently apparently I'm blasting things out into outer space my point defense lasers are actually doing enough damage to take that down because they don't have shields I'm almost about to shoot the radiant here, so wow, that actually didn't take it out. That took it out. Okay, let me not accidentally shoot the radiant there, but yeah. I was told before these lasers are a little hard to aim, but I'm certainly better with them than other weapons, so that's a plus. Just point, click, and forget. So this is. This is working out. The probe's not functional. But we get just every every one of these fights is just a little more experience for us. So did I double tap? I did not. All right. Okay, neutron star. Let's go. Uh, we're gonna do. 
I'm gonna do the nascent grab. Now let's do the fringe jump point. Just because there's no way of knowing exactly like what's gonna be blasting at me. If I had jumped in the wrong place here, I would have totally been like destroyed. But it looks like we have a few things over here, so we're just gonna kind of play the orbit. This is one of the times where I might do a transverse jump. So there's a probe over here. And we gotta definitely ditch some excess cargo here. All right, and now we get to wait for a minute, do a little ping, just to make sure we're not missing anything. Doesn't look like there's any research stations here. I thought I saw another, oh, there we go. What in the world? That was like a really weird, just sort of suddenly you found everything. The probe is non-functional, I wonder why. Maybe because you parked it next to a neutron star that just sends out hot jets of like radioactive death. The hegemony is coming for me now. Okay, well, um, I, I'm going to be patient. It's going to take a few days for this to go around. I could try to fly around the middle of the star here. I kind of want to see what's the sensor ping is down by the planet. And if I do a e-burn through here, that's going to um, hurt quite a bit. So let's actually check out this hegemony expedition. Evenly matched, evenly matched. They're coming for Polysius. It's a strong fleet. So that's, um, that's exciting. I was wondering where all the expeditions went, and apparently they decided just to wait it out for a minute. So here's the most exciting part of the game, dealing with neutron stars. If it's just a probe... I'm going to be kind of sad here, so let's speed up time for a second because we can do that. Maybe it's a research station. Here's a stable location. It's a... Uh, that makes me sad. But we're here, so let's go. Automated defenses again. Would be nice if I could just auto battle, kind of like the earthbound thing of like, we are going to win this fight. So let's win this fight. But that's not Star Sector. They want you to do every little thing. So let's do every little thing here. All right, you're dead, you're dead. Turns out Reaper torpedoes are really good against enemies with no shields. Who'd have thought? Like, my lasers are doing some damage, but... Apparently, if you have the right kind of armor, it's not a big deal. Alright, who else do we got? Apparently, I get to ram into something with my lasers. Now I wonder if the two expeditions meet at kind of the same time. Will they fight together to go against their sworn enemy, humanity's trash? Okay, that's that's weird. All right, cool. You're dead. Easy. No ship recovery. Pick through the wreckage. All right. And not too much else here. Cool. One more double tap. And we are definitely not waiting for the neutron star to do the routes here. We're just going to go carry on. And let's see, we've got, where are we? Okay, I don't know if we're going to fit three neutron stars in here, but we're definitely going to get two. Because I do want to get back in time to prepare for any expeditions that may be woefully unprepared to handle my orbital fleets. Because my orbital fleets are looking much healthier than they were a bunch of episodes ago. Alright, so we're going to go over here. This is the wrong way. I guess this means we get to take a look at this star first and see maybe why we ignored it. Okay, we ignored it because there's nothing there. Cool. Would be nice if I could put a note that says there's nothing here. That means we may fit another neutron star in here. Let's see how this one goes, though. Inner system jump points... Are we going to get blasted? No. 
But we do have a ping over here. Can we get to it in time? It's a shuttle. Yeah, it didn't do a lot. All right, so once again, do I e-burn through the middle just to get blasted for what's over there? I don't think I do. I think we just transverse jump. We just speed up time a little bit to let people come, let people go. Oh, we just e-burned anyway because I hit four instead of three. So there's some uh, dumb... Okay, can I just scan now? All right, relationship improved. So those hostilities ended. We've discovered another derelict ship. It's a Hermes class shuttle. We'll explore it because we're here, but apparently you guys are not big loot pinatas either anymore. How long until we have expeditions here? The Dickat is getting here in 46 days. Yeah, we got we got time. So, neutron stars, more like neutron disappointments. It's hoping one of these would have a research station. But that doesn't appear to be the case. So let's speed up time just a little bit more. Almost got shot into the extremities of the star system. Huh? It's a, it's a little bit of stuff. And we just got shot a little bit. All right. Are we really having the most awkward text conversation I can think of? On my phone yes we are all right what's next if we go up here we've got time for this right yeah we've got time this just this just checks off boxes so I don't have to worry about them later and that's all I really want to do right now is just make sure that I take care of crap now so that I don't have to take care of crap later you're a neutron star then what the hell did I click Okay, this is a neutron star with a lot of planets. Might be worth my time to pass through because there's multiple gravity wells here. Depending on what's available. Instead of kind of sitting on the edge. Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to take that jump point. And we're going to go all the way out here. Just pop back to the other side and see if there's theirs, see if there's something else that we can do. All right. Because it looks like this place doesn't have like a ton either. And if that's the, if that's how it is, then that's how it is. Okay, let's go investigate the star. All right, so our income situation is looking really good now. All right, yeah. So this neutron star had nothing, but that's fine. If anything, it's nice that the um, stuff that's on the map doesn't always just point to like, here's here be all the riches. All right, so let's go back home. We have no hostilities now. Um, we have a lot of stuff that we can drop off, which is good. Um, I don't really need to worry too much about selling. Is there anything on any of the colonies that I need to build? Right here, not really, other than figuring out how to increase my stability. Uh, Jing, I could always, I could upgrade you, but Hantu Raya is probably what I should upgrade. Although that upgrade's gonna take a while. So upgrading a battle station with an expedition coming is a little bit of a problem, but let's do it anyway. All right. So are they coming from my orbital works or something? Maybe, I don't know. Um, they're supposed to get defeated in orbit anyway. So let's just head on back. Maybe we can be the ones to greet them. Yep, this is, this is a lot of hyperstorm damage, but we're just gonna take the hit. Cause once again, this is kind of the balance that you run eventually where you just deal with getting to places in a certain amount of time versus trying to dodge all the storm stuff. I'm just going to kind of go in a straight line here. Maybe we stop at a colony to drop some stuff off. I didn't bring any of my raiding stuff, so I say that and then we're going to pass through here nice and slow like. 
But yeah, I'm I am happy with how my colonies have built out. It's nice that at the end, once you can get to colony size six, and you're not paying all that hazard pay, that everything's kind of okay. I'm a little surprised I haven't found any items to decrease like hazard for cold, but I have found most of the items that you can find, except for of course a pristine Nana Forge. It's it's really good though that those are no longer necessary, and obviously I know where two of them are because they belong to two of the AI factions. But let's go ahead and head on back. Do we stop? Do we stop at like Ilm or something? How are we on time? 40 days, nine days until arrival. I don't think we have time. It's not too big of a deal. Can always do a big trade or drop off later. Um, one of the big questions I have is Hantu Raya close enough to uh, another one of my people here, or another one of my colonies. Alright, so Kiatish, let's go. We're flying nice and fast. Look at our, look at this, look at our nice happy little um, trade expedition, just do just doing its thing. It's always nice to see the uh, the world and sort of the sandbox that is made here for all of our trading and stuff work out like it's supposed to. All right, so maybe we'll get expeditions all at once. At least we shouldn't get any expeditions from TriTac anymore because we have a commission, right? Maybe, right? They're supposed to like us now. So, is that them? Is that them? They're running from us. Hansu Riot, where are you? Okay, you guys are you guys are actually all together, so that's that's even better. Alright, so we can totally drop down at Polizius first. And um get our get our um colony upgrades online. Drop off a bunch of stuff. Like now now we are just in pure profit territory. And that's uh, that's kind of amazing. All right. Well, someone was short on organic, so let's uh, let's hold on to you for a second. Um, Alpha core, we obviously don't need to hold on to. Cryorhythmic thingy, we don't need to hold on to. I call it a thingy because I have so much shit. I don't really like concern myself with what stuff's called. Now, once again, I do have new weapons that I can load out on ships. But I'm not going to do that just yet. So beta core, look at all those gamma cores. Maybe like one of the best trips through all the gamma cores that I have. But um, our storage doesn't have like super crazy things. We just have a bunch of good stuff. All right, so let me let me check one more time here. So I'm pretty sure we didn't put the fuel thing on the fuel place yet is that really what's going on here fuel production okay well we are uh, gonna get the ludic path very interested in us very quickly all right um storage again take you thank you all right so by the way since we're here let's go ahead and um light industry um, install an item uh, increases industry production by two but it has to the world has to be habitable for that to work but it's still really important that we do so uh, yeah our um, dominance in this field is going to get even more dominating which is awesome commerce good do an AI core what does that do reduces demand by one that might not be bad. Increases colony income by 25%. Those alpha cores are great. Um, unit production by one for population. I don't think I really care about that anymore. If we assign an AI core to the megaport, increases accessibility by 20. I don't care too much about that. Greatly increases stockpiles. I was just curious if there was any of these that would increase stability. Like, that's heavy... I don't, I don't know if there is. I feel like this is the kind of thing I should know. Okay, so that's fine. Anyway, commerce. Install this item. 
and that's going to increase the colony income generated by 50 percent even more so we could pretty much pay for whatever now and as our other colonies continue to grow like uh, we're, we're going to be in good shape so fleet here we have some expeditions coming let's go ahead and store you can i not store you are we are we actually i was about to say we should be in orbit where's my where's my store button uh did i forget how to do this why are we why are we trying to sell and buy stuff i am literally just trying to manage my fleet this is this is weird i guess i must have hit the open market button because i'm on commerce now so i can literally sell things it's not great to sell things here okay we i am gonna have to go to the storage button there we go all right nailed it okay what do we got we have you guys which are fine let's go ahead and take the uh, conquests out of storage which ones do we want we want you yeah we want these two big break and dark matters because those have the build out that we like um i think that'll be more than enough to push off a bunch of stuff i could start like repairing and putting like some more legions out here and everything but we're gonna just do it like this all right so put you over here put you over here two officers like even sh though she's cautious if i can kind of link her up to somebody else then that'll be fine so that's cool Prepare your ships Dockside bar, there's a pather um, for 10,000. That's easy. So we have a ludic path based, a woman smoking in the corner. Um, I'm not going to bother with that right now. All right. Also, we have from the open market versus from our supplies um, 98 and uh, 24. Why can't I buy my own stuff from the black market? Clearly that's an oversight, and I'm having to pay myself tariffs too. Let's just like buy it directly. Seems like a good move. So I can sell these things, but I don't really want to sell to myself. Um, it is interesting to have things like, here's weapons that are available, here's these that are available. It's actually a decent, really decent price to take over to other places later. So. Um, versus three here it's kind of funny maybe i do buy these for myself i mean that's a that's a lot of money but we're we are now rolling rolling in the money so okay we got a uh we got a we got a contact expedition failed look at that contact didn't even make it oh man <laughs> that uh look at this Merktil convoy's like no this this patrol's like no man this is i like i like this scavengers just trying to scavenge all the shit afflictor class phase frigate what oh never mind it's a little more excited about that maybe i should have taken it anyway but whatever i didn't all right and over here we have an enforcer class destroyer so they they tried their best and they failed miserably good to know like even that mercantile convoy could have taken them out so there's the station the station not it is upgrading okay so that's where we put a lot of our money fuel production let's install this so now we can have us be one of the dominating forces for fuel in the entire sector and uh, our accessibility is actually really good here too so we are uh, one of the great fuel places in the whole area and look at this this place is now making a profit that's uh, pretty cool anything else we can do with accessibility um maybe not our stability is good that's all fine 
how long until the hegemony gets here? Okay, that's probably too far away. Oh, that's actually a uh, contract. So where is the Ludic Path base? That one's close. How long until the hegemony gets here? 22 days. Pretty sure I have time to do some housekeeping. So let's do some housekeeping. Um, you have not discovered the exact location of the base, but it's in the Beta Aresh star system. Cool. Well, let's do it. And uh, just like that, Hantu Raya. Yeah, I was gonna say we uh, install that. We install that core, and uh, they're gonna they're gonna really like us. So that's fine. No reason not to just take that out right now. Take it out! For some reason, I feel like we're going really slow. I mean, I know we're driving through nebulas, but that, did I pick up a ship that goes slow? I've done this to... Oh my gosh. Okay, so the hegemony is now uh, hostile with us. Alright. There we go. There's our regular speed. Um, it's saying go this way. We're gonna go this way. See if the game's gonna give us a hint to get us closer to the path or base. Also, we have a little bit of repairs that we can do because we were a little irresponsible. That seems like a good sensor ping. Seems like the game didn't tell us wrong. Alright, so hopefully we go here and then we come back and the hegemony is just gonna have a good day. Alright, that's not it. Let's take control of the array. This is our array. Path or base. All right, it's not there. And they're just gonna take that back, which is fine. And no sensor pings over here. Did I just literally drive by it? That'd be hilarious. Or did they put a path or base that close to a star? That can't be right. Ludic cells incident in Sendria. Refining operations disrupted. So that's kind of the crap I want to avoid. That's a bigger fleet. Where did you guys come from? All right, you guys, you guys are here. So we're we're going to deal with you later. Let's go back. Let's go back home. Clean up the mess if it needs to be cleaned up. Because obviously we got a little bit of time to figure this out. But yeah, that's that's just kind of a... Uh, okay, that's a really big fleet. And it doesn't look like... They are coming for us. Guys, I have better shit to do. Like, let's just... Let's just not do this today. Alright, so they've arrived in system. Supposedly a big honkin' hegemony fleet. There they are. Hey y'all, what's up? Oh, that's uh, the Persian League? Persian? Alright, so they're coming for us, right? They're in system. Their space forces are outmatched. It's likely to be defeated in orbit. But where are you guys? Like, I get so many sensor pings up here. Just gonna wait a minute. This is this is the calm before the whatever. You think we'd have a lot? Or maybe they're at Jing right now. That seems like a thing that could be a thing here. So 
Unidentified fleet engaged in battle. Don't tell me it's pirates, dude. It's pirates. You guys are dumb. Hey! That looks like a, a good group of people. All right, well, you know what? Um, that's a few onslaughts and a bunch of other stuff. Let's take them on. They're pursuing my fleet. I know, isn't that fun? We are going to move in to engage. I was thinking maybe I should really try and uh, maybe get some more big ships here, but this is fine. We have 355 deployment points. That gives us most of what we want to get out. We're kind of still missing a conquest, but it's kind of the same thing as before. We can get these ships out and then we can deploy a conquest if we take a node. Looks like to the order of the day is to go for the comm relay over here. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so you guys stick together. You guys stick together. You all stick together. I'm gonna have you follow the more aggressive one. That seems that seems fun. All right. So calm relay. Now this is the interesting part of this fight is that we have some really big ships that are here. So I do want to respect that. But at the same time, I have a bunch of really big ships too. So I'm very interested to see if we get blown out of the sky and kind of get embarrassed by the hegemony here. At least we'll do enough damage to them, even if that's the case. It is just an expedition after all. Our ECM rating's a bit lower. But this is part of the goal that I had. You put up the deployment range to 700 and we get more space fighting here. So we're all going to kind of try to group up over here. I'm going to grab that second conquest. It should have another officer on it. And then uh, we'll back up with the eagle that we have. Actually, we might be able to back up with everything here in just a second. Yeah, that's enough. All right, so you guys. You're going to... We'll just have you follow you and have you follow you. We'll do buddy system all the way around. So we have our full deployment, our full contingent of ships. We'll see if the hegemony's done kind of the same thing. They've probably bought a bunch of their tiny frigates first, so it's very important that my group, except for maybe the Radiant, all kind of stay together because there's a bunch of onslaughts, and onslaughts are no joke. Like, I've, I've talked before about my confidence in my fleet's ability to keep things together, but I do want to kind of bring the engagement to me instead of having everybody chase down all these small frigates and getting out of position. So this is where I'm shouting on the comms to my team, get back, get back, get back. And they're actually listening. Who knew? You think an alpha core would be like, whatever, I got this. And it kind of will be eventually. But there's a there's a bunch of little ships. So we're going to, what the goal is, to, is to kind of have them pulled over here to us. We're just going to hold our position for now on the waypoint. And then when the time comes, we will... Um, we will blast them out of the sky so I can totally shoot you. Just kind of try to work some shots in. And here we go. Here comes here comes the first big ones. We got an actual legion. I think I can actually check and see what this guy has. So more info here. So thermal pulse cannons is kind of what we know they have right now. All right. How do we want to do this? Let's get everybody back just a little bit further. All right, let these onslaughts get just a little bit closer because they're going to shoot at our fighters just a little bit here. All right, so I'm going to hold the line for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here we go. All right, you're done. So how do we want to do this? If we bring you through here and we kind of try to push east to west that's going to make a pretty solid line we put that astral on the other thing here we put this one on the other thing here this is going to get surrounded by some very heavy gunnery ships we kind of want you to maybe support because you're hyper aggressive so we don't want you to go too crazy let's have you support down here no 
Let's have you support up here. That's fine. So all these commands all at once, everybody's just kind of moving. We're engaging right now. We're not trying to like blast everybody out of the sky. So that's a good shot. So here we go. You're you're already in a little bit of trouble, as as we knew would happen, because you are a very very aggressive space boy. That's a lot of damage you just took. Okay, well, maybe maybe you just retreat. Nah. You're you're gonna take some hits, and if we have to use a story point to recover that ship, we will because that's one of the ships that um has our extreme afterburners on it. So let's get let's get some pressure on you. And what are you doing? Let's set you up on this guy. All right, so that way you can actually get in and engage. There we go. I love I love this beam weapon. And our two Odysseys are just doing so much work here. And look, there's a legion, just a regular old legion out in the wild. Who who knew what fun this would be? So yeah, there's one down. Actually, great time to flux because my, uh, or to vent flux because my, uh, defensor's not doing a lot. And for some reason, for some reason, you are not attacking. All right, well, you know what? We have harass, we have eliminate. There we go. We, we need, we need that radiant aggression right now. This is the hegemony. There we go. Get him. All right, that's a that's a dead legion. Okay, so we have some space trash here, kind of sticking. Oh, it's not a dead legion. It's about to be a dead legion. Really? Okay. Shields up. Red alert. There we go. One tack lance to the face. Got another onslaught over here. So once again, this is kind of why I wanted to stay on the right-hand side. We actually have to. We actually didn't do a good job keeping our shields up, so we actually have to get one of our lasers repaired. That's a little annoying, but like we're we're doing great in this engagement right here. I am I am very happy with how strong we are. And plus, if we can recover any of these ships with uh Without using story points, that'll be even better. All right, so they're they're shooting some. I think those are hyper velocity drivers. I want to see this one more time. We should be able to look and see. Okay, large ballistic medium missile. We can see some thermal pulse cannons on it, but not too much else. Okay. I don't really want to vent with uh, that fire coming right on me. But now now that we got like some gar some space garbage here blocking us, we're fine. I love that the conquest over here is just like. Yeah, I got this. And we got another conquest that's kind of hanging back a little bit, but everyone's contributing in their own way. So yeah, this is a... There are some stronger ships we'll be able to get as part of the story, but with the gear that we've gotten and just all the things that have uh, built up so far in the story at this point, uh, we already have... Oh god, I whiffed on that one. Um, we already have a lot of good stuff here, so... Let's be aggressive. Look at look at the Paladin point defense here. That's that's amazing. All right, so black magic fuckery going on. Can't believe I just said that. This is supposed to be a wholesome channel. Okay, you're dead. And uh, the enemy is defeated. The galaxy's now at peace. We did actually defeat all their battleships, so we did literally sink the hegemony here. Um, we held a few of our ships in reserve. Oh, look at all those elite troop transports. Let's get them. All right, you, 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 and you. All right. Look, they actually got everything. Consider ship recovery. Okay, now that's a little annoying here. I was kind of hoping to get a few more onslaughts out of here, but... Eh. I'll take another troop transport, though. I mean, might as, might as well. And it's possible that uh, one of these ships uh, is still part of the salvage here. So they don't like us very much. That's okay. 
No, we didn't. We didn't get the. We didn't win the salvage lottery either. But we do have some more pirates fighting like morons over here. So we'll let them be morons. But there's two expeditions just downed. Uh, two or three neutron stars downed. The Persian League now hates us. Awesome. Okay. Um, so we have some business to do over here and everyone's going to want to fight us. That's fine. That's why I guess we were stupid when exploring here while everyone is at peace. So that we can do all of our business in the uh, inner sector worlds with... Uh, the ludic path is vengeful. The homogeny or the hegemony, I still call it homogeny in my head sometimes, is a uh, hostile. The dickad is fortunately not very, uh, it's kind of cooperative with us. The tri attack loves us. But yeah, we have, we have some people that don't really like us and maybe they shouldn't. So you know what I'm going to do? Um, I'm going to call this an episode here. Obviously I have some business I need to take care of. I do want to actually go through some of my weapons and gear and kind of figure out what I want to do with it, especially some of the new stuff that I got. But the other important thing that I'm going to need to do is get my, what's the word for it? Get my stuff together to colonize another system. Because why have one set of factions pissed at us when we can have two for twice the price? Okay, let's go ahead. We don't need all these ships here. We don't need Okay, first off, storage. I'm, I'm gonna have to get used to using that storage button. So let's put you let's put you back in parking. Maybe now that we do have some hostile fleets with us, we do bring a bunch of these guys. I'll have to think about it, because right now, right now, I think we're in a pretty good spot. I mean I need to get some more supplies, but what do we have to do? At some point, I do want to go down and do the uh, red planet. But I really want to get through the uh, these two story missions, which do put us right in core sector space. So I think I'll save that for next time, but I'm going to off camera kind of deal with some of the equipment that I have, see if I can re-equip anything. But man, my, uh, my colony income is going to be super, super good here. Just kind of from, you know, honestly, once these other systems grow, I've kind of beaten the curve on that now. So exciting times shouldn't be shackled by having to just sell things to desperately stay afloat anymore, which is a good thing to say after episode 45, whatever this is. But that's it for now. This is Asher. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We did pack a lot into this, which is which is cool to see. But next episode is going to be a little more story focused and probably a little more trying to navigate the core worlds as well before maybe we go out to other mysterious faraway places that the story will take us if it does but that's it for now thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it like the video if you liked it very excited to get back to recording to these once again and we'll do this again soon take care